shooting up north in Queensland was a real big shift for everybody. The location, the environment, and the crew, the people, and just how we felt when we were up there, it really injected a whole new energy into into the show. And that comes across. That really that really added a lot. Well, I am such a big fan of the series, so I'm so excited to chat with you. Um, of course, I have to start off by asking, since this is the last season, you know, how has this experience been for you overall? And how has been bringing your character's journey to a close? It was very sad to film knowing that we were ending. I think it made it that much more fun. Like we all came in every day with just an endless amount of love and excitement for the show. Um, because we knew we had a limited time to, to share it with each other. Um, the arc of my character has fascinated me and been really great to play because she has shifted. I think everyone, everyone's changed so much. Obviously we're always put in new circumstances and we're starting new relationships and ending old ones. And, but Veronica, I think the amount that she changed was shocking to me. And I, and I, I'm so happy to see her starting to find joy and starting to figure out who she wants to be. And, you know, taking on more leadership, I think herself, even though other people are doing it in different ways Um, and having this responsibility, she's just, she's a, she's a woman, a young woman full of love and hope for the first time. So that's really fun to, to do. Yeah. I mean, this, this, it's definitely been the most fun season. Um, and overall, it's been a, obviously an, an incredible journey for all these characters and for us as just actors being able to play with all the many crazy things that the, you know, the writers have thrown at us. But I think this season really elevated, things were elevated a bit. Obviously, things were coming to a close. There was a bit of sweetness about that. But everyone, you can just tell everyone's having a really good time. Um, and I, I hope that shows through the end product, uh, just a more enjoyable and more fun. The, everyone had a better sense of who they were. Um, we all are old friends now. You know, we've been working together closely through intense conditions for like three years, and that really like bonds you. So coming into this final season, I think there's just the energy on set was was just that little bit different, that little bit better. Um, every every season, it's got a little bit stronger, a little bit better because they're wrapping it up. You know, they they just got to you know do whatever they wanted and, you know, dinosaurs, all kinds of stuff were thrown at us. So, yeah, and it's all sandwiched into six episodes. So it's just so fast and there's so many twists and turns. I think with season one and two, there was a lot of unknown and a lot of trying to figure things out. But by now, season three, when we knew that it was the end, there was a sense of closure and uh, a sense of uh, clarity that we're all working together towards a final goal. And shooting up north in Queensland was a real big shift for everybody. The location, the environment and the crew, the people, just how we felt when we were up there, it really injected a whole new energy into, into the show. And that comes across that really, that really added a lot. That really added a lot. And this is my favorite season by far. And uh, I don't think I'm the only one who feels that way. Well, I mean, just kind of diving into the story. I mean, Josh and Lily, we got to talk about the pregnancy because that that one caught me off guard. <laughs> I, I was not me expecting too. it, right? <laughs> For a loop, I mean, they they seem to be in a good place about it at the end of season two. But how is preparing to raise a baby in 10,000 BC going to affect them both as individuals and their relationship? We've been talking about fear a lot today and that they both sort of exist uh, excited but terrified um and you know the characters address that that they're both excited but terrified um they have a lot more responsibility they have a lot more to lose i think you they have to unite in a different way than they've ever had to before and the trust that they have for each other and for that everything will be okay and that they can make things okay if they if they are together and believe in themselves they just have to they they just have to trust a lot and that's really scary. And, um, but I, I like seeing them grow. I think just at the end of season two, they've just started this relationship and they're still awkward together and they're still 
figuring out who they are to each other. And season three, you got mom and pop leading the people <laughs> in the clearing and uh, ready to raise a human together, even despite their creepy pasts. So um, it, it, it's it's hopeful to me. Yeah, hopeful. It, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like at the end of the second season, Lucas is conflicted between being able to be the person that he's slowly starting to forge for himself in 10,000 BC versus the person he was back in, you know, LA, present day LA, where he was a heroin dealer, so he wasn't the greatest role model. And he doesn't have great role models for parents either. So on an individual level, it's hope, but also fear. Hope that he can be a better person, that he wants to be a better person, that he can take this version of himself anywhere he goes and uh, well, this vision that he's forging for himself down in 10,000 BC anywhere and be that person. Um, and as Lily rightly said, like trust is a huge part of that. He needs to trust that he can be that person. He needs to trust that Veronica is going to support him and that if he does have moments of vulnerability or, you know, I don't want to say relapsing, but like moments where he, that darkness that follows both of those characters around, you know, makes its way back in that Veronica is going to support him through that and that they can raise this child together and it's not going to be screwed up like either of them. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm so, yeah, I'm so excited to see how that one plays out. And then of course, um, yeah. Rowan, we have your character as well. I'm such a huge Scott fan. He definitely is not the same person he was when we meet him in the pilot. So I'm curious in what ways do you think he has evolved most throughout the series? Sure. Yeah. Scott's um, gone through a lot this season. Um, and and throughout the whole throughout the whole show, you know, he's experienced near near death a couple of times. Uh, he's faced some of his fears crossing the crossing the river in season one and killing Tarmit in season two. Those are some really really life changing moments for Scott. And meeting meeting Petra and developing a kinship with her and having a bromance with with uh, Lucas's character. A lot of new experiences. A lot of new relationships as well he's he's had down here it's really impacted his maturity his sense of responsibility and all of that really comes to fruition by the end of this season where we learn a lot more about scott's past and some other elements that he hasn't been talking about yet and how he chooses to deal with them with the new skills that he's learned and the new confidence that he's grown to have this this season uh, yeah it's been it's been a real a real growth experience for myself, but for Scott. I'm looking back at the earlier episodes and to see how far he's come. It's it's a real shift. It is. I mean, I was just watching one of the earlier episodes and I was like, wow, Scott has come so far. So yeah, that's incredible to hear. Um, it looks like it is about time for me to wrap, but thank you guys so much for, for chat with me today. Again, I cannot wait to see how the final season plays out. So thank you guys. thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.